Yeah, I love Nana's dress, I want that. Hey there everyone, welcome back to Jimothy Listens, my name is Jimothy, and today, I'm very excited for this, we are listening to the new Wu-Ha mini album, Joy. Now, Wu are a group that I hadn't heard anything from until the start of this year when they released their single Catch the Stars, which I absolutely love. Blew me away. It is my most listened to song of this year. I absolutely adore everything about that track and since then have kind of gotten to know Wuwa a bit better. So ever since this comeback was announced, I've been very excited to see what it would contain, especially since it does actually have Catch the Stars on it. So, I mean, at least one song is going to be banging, we know that. But from the teasers, it seemed pretty interesting, pretty cool. And so I'm keen to get into it. As always, we are going to start with the music video for the lead single, which is Danger, and then we'll go through the rest of the album. These are my complete first impressions. I haven't heard any of this before, except for obviously Catch the Stars. I'm, I'm excited, so we're just going to get into it. Okay, the music video for Danger. Let's, let's just get started. Cute. Those fits are cute. I love already the colors. It's cute. I like the the beat is quite scant but quite like bouncy and fast paced. Ah, <gasps> look at Sora. Saying the group's name. We love that. Oh, let's go. <gasps> oh, that's sick. That production on that super like bright. Mm. That's a cute dress. Nana is one of the most talented fourth gen idols and like anyone who knows Nana is like yeah of course she is but the fact that not everyone knows that fact a shame I'm hoping for a big explosive chorus okay a bit more of an anti-drop but we'll see <laughs> Lucy's acting in the lift there oh okay yeah bumps up in the second half of the chorus. I love that. That repeated melody is nice. The synth's coming in to thicken the mix a bit. That's really nice. <laughs> Absolutely, just naming foods. For sure, that's fun. This is super like fun and bright. I like it. Even just that like, there was that little like low background vocal that came in, like true love. Nice, nice little touches. The video, like, yeah, the colours are insane. I love it. It's very, I mean, it's sweet. Like, it's like, it's kind of the idea. As much as I'm not a fan of an anti-drop, if you bring it up after that in the second half of the chorus, then an anti-drop is fine, because it's less like an anti-drop and more just like a very delayed drop to kind of like really just build that anticipation. The choreography's cute. I wonder if it's too early to have like a performance or something. I might look at that. Yeah, I love Nana's dress. I want that. Nice bridge. Ooh, la. Oh, those fits are cute. Those fits are... Hell yeah, I'm into it. Suddenly just a bit like, cool, I'm into it. Yeah, I like the little switch up at the end to make it just like a little bit darker. That's cool. Yeah, that's a that's a really sick song. Um, the video, super cute. Love the outfits, love the colours. Love the kind of concept of it. That like Candyland is really nice. And the song is really cool. I feel like we've kind of got a trend going. I first noticed it with Cornumi's Glitch that came out a couple months ago now. It's very efficient. Like there's not a heap of layers or heap of complication in the mix. Like if you sort of analyze and break it up, there's really like just a simple kind of percussive loop. Sometimes not even that, like one synth maybe going and then some like bass. And that's about it for a lot of the song, but it's, done in a way that's very kind of like catchy and has a really nice texture to it so that it kind of sticks in your head and sounds very cool without being super like overwhelming and then also that allows you to kind of build and so in this song for example the verses are quite kind of like that efficient style and then the pre-chorus starts to build it a bit and you think like oh we're gonna get some like more fuller layers and then it drops out for the first half of the chorus it's a bit more of an anti-drop and it's quite like scant and reserved and then finally in the second half of the chorus it like it's been holding back for so long and then it just explodes into it and gives you all of these extra layers and synths and stuff and it's really nice 
and then not only that progression sort of from verse to chorus but across the whole song you kind of see the same thing with like the bridge suddenly being a bit fuller and then after we come out of the bridge it like switches to a much well not much darker but like a bit of a darker sound and there's like a lot more elements kind of chucked in so not only throughout the song do you get this but you also have a more general kind of along as you're going which just makes for a very interesting song to listen to so i'm very i'm very into that super cool now i do want to see just because i was interested by the kari some of it looked cool if there is like a i mean not a dance practice probably but if there's been like a performance yet it's only been out for 57 minutes but i just want to see because i would like to look at that choreography we do we have a showcase stage thank you tong tong culture so we're going to watch this too, because I want to look at the curry. And I know I say it in every video, but if you're new to me, I am a dancer and choreographer. So this is kind of my wheelhouse. I want to look at the curry. I want to see what's going on. All right, all right. Give me this performance. Oh, the quality is so bad. I guess because this literally would have happened like half an hour ago. That's a nice, that little bounce is there. Mm. Nice little texture. That lean didn't quite work. That's what happens when you have a small person leaning on a very tall person. You can't quite get that. Because to get a lean like that to work, you kind of almost have to like have the person who's going back sit on the butt of the person that they're leaning on. And so when you have someone who's shorter, they don't quite fit and you end up getting this. It's not that bad, but just a little thing. I like that that real lean in that groove there. Lucy's very good too. <laughs> that sudden leg on the floor. That's cool. I like that on the... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, excuse my voice, jeez. Yeah, that's cute. They hit the accents very well, as you'd kind of expect. That's interesting, that like going into that deep plie there. I think it's just when they're in outfits like this, where they have like short skirts and stuff, that's a bit like, could have styled it better. I like that though, that like, and again, matching the dynamic going from the kind of like lower energy first half of the chorus to the sudden high energy second half. Like look, if you look at like this, it's quite kind of chill. And then suddenly if we go back to like here, it's a lot more active, a lot quicker, just, you know, complimenting the song well. That's cute. Ooh, that's nice. Nana has such a nice quality of movement. Like, if you even just look at... That is so nice. Like, look at... Just even just focus on this arm. And the, the way that it moves is so smooth, but it, it's like she's, like, moving through honey or something. The way it just, like... Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tasty. Choreography is different for the second pre-chorus. We always like to see that. That's a nice little cannon there. The dropping of the arms. Da, da. Cute. Yeah, the sudden shift between like sharp moves and then smooth. It's really nice. Even just the eyes following the hands on that gives it real power. I feel like it's a thing for idols. I mean, it makes sense if you're the one singing to look at the camera or at the audience, but it's a real thing to, like, if you were to just look straight forward while doing that, it wouldn't have as much impact. Whereas if you look at it, suddenly it makes the audience go, oh, I'm going to look at that too, and makes it look just a lot more impressive. Well, not more impressive, but it sort of draws more attention to the movement, which is nice. Also, not the camera whoever operates this camera just focusing on Nana the whole time. And yes, I'm going to keep calling her Nana, even though I'm pretty sure it's meant to be like Nana. But it's spelled Nana. I'm going to pronounce it Nana because I think it's cute. All right, give me a dance break. Mm. Nice cannon. Yeah, it's nice. Cute, cute, cute. Thank you, Tong Tong Culture. It's a nice little routine that they've got. I like, I mean, it has very consistent choreography the whole time. A lot of like deep plies and a lot of sort of like smooth wavy movements to go on top. It's very consistent the whole time. It gives it like its own kind of unique feel instead of just being 
the same as what everyone else is doing. It's nice. Okay, anyway, I got distracted there because I like dancing. Let's go to the rest of this album. I'm not going to listen to Danger again because I've just listened to it twice. But we'll start off with track two, which is Joyride. Oh, this sounds bright and fun already. The horn, yep, and the soul. I don't need to listen to the rest of it. This is a great song. I mean, I'm going to because I know I'm going to like it. Yeah, it's sweet. It's cute. This is exactly what I like. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and enjoy it because I know that this is my shit. Yeah, those little horns in the background just going... This is cute. That was a nice little delivery there. Hitting that like da 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 da. Just like pushing it a bit further makes it a bit fun. Big building pre chorus. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, that's cute. Like the vocals are great and just having that dum dum. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is fun. This is so fun. Oh, it's so cute. Production is great. Who produced this? Doesn't say. That was fun. Those little like yelled vocals in the back there. I love when the members who aren't rappers do like non-singing portions. And this goes for any group. It's just always fun. I love that chorus. Like normally I hate an anti-drop, but I think that's so nice how it, it's not even like an anti-drop, it's just sort of like a little simple moment, because this feels all a bit more like, you know, rural homely. It just sort of feels like just sitting out on the porch and sort of, you know, taking a moment to feel the breeze before going, all right, let's go. Nice piano in the bridge, great vocals. This is so sweet. This is a great bridge. Yeah, this is getting a heart. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's just such a good song. That's such a good song. Oh hell yeah. Okay, on to the next track. Go away. Ooh, sounds a bit cooler, but also kind of like still quite bright. It's kind of, it sounds like, like the main character of a Disney Channel show going through a rebellious phase. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit mean. Those backing vocals just sort of like sweeping in and out are quite strange, but I don't hate them. Let's see what this chorus is like. I feel like this could go either way. I'm not a fan of the plucky guitars. Is this the chorus or is this a pre-chorus? I hope this is a pre-chorus. And we're gonna build to something big here. <laughs> what is this 2014 DJ Snake kind of drop? Like, I love it because it's like, okay, I don't know if I love it. I don't know if it's good, but it just, as you know, a fan of, that was a cute little thing there. As a fan of, you know, pop music from the early 2010s, that kind of DJ Snake vibe really just, it's its familiar to me and I like it. So something like that, I'm like, it's cute. Give me that drop again, I wanna hear it again. <laughs> yeah, it's really strange, but I'm for it. <laughs> What's this bridge gonna be like? The vocals mixed weird, or is that just my ears playing up? Okay, I'm gonna say it now. Is this song good? Questionable. Do I like it? Yeah. I'm not gonna add a heart to it just yet. We're gonna see what the rest of the album pans out with, but that's, that's fun. That's cute. Give me another high energy one. On to switch up. Good. <laughs> Are we getting pop rock? No. Ooh. 
It's a bit cool. Oh, that it's a bit sweet. Who's that? I love that tone of voice. I wonder what the chorus of this is going to be like. <laughs> it's fun. Dance with like a Oh, yeah. Please tell me where the party at. Absolutely. That's fun. I see why the EP is called Joy. Because I mean, yep. <laughs> lit, lit, lit. Be waiting for a million. Oh. Peace and flow. This is so much fun. It's already, it's getting a heart. I love that. That's so much fun. Interesting bridge. With those very like, I don't know, spacey synths, just kind of very like back there. It's so, I say this in the nicest way possible, it's so uncool that makes it like, like it's so uncool that it just becomes cool. Alright, alright. That was Switch Up. Now we go to track five straight up. Sorry if you heard my knee just crack there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are we getting like big, almost power ballad vibes? I'm interested to see where this goes. Mm hmm. Nice pre chorus. Good vocals. This better explode in the chorus. Interesting. It's not bad. I'm hoping it kind of goes somewhere else. Like, I hope it doesn't just kind of stay like this for the rest of the song. It needs to introduce at least something kind of new for, you know, bridge, final chorus. It's just kind of the most, like, standard, straightforward. It's not bad, but it's not exactly special. Give me a good bridge. It's always in songs like this that the rapper comes in to save it by just sounding slightly different. I like Lucy's bit there. Yeah, okay. This is... A lot... I think, you know, a lot of people will like this one. It's not for me. As you could... Like, as you see, I love the stupid, bright, colourful stuff. And this is a bit more of like a... Which just isn't personally my taste. Still, if that's the worst song in your album, you're doing pretty good. And it's fine because after this we go to oh baby, we go to catch the stars. Oh, this drum. Oh, it's so good. This like literally, this song just feels like I mean it's called Catch the Stars, but it literally just feels like lying down outside on the grass, looking up at the stars at night, and just oh, oh, it's so good. I love that. Uh, cute. I'm too low for the camera. I am a dancer and choreographer. Fly high! I love it. It's just so good. Like, I can't even describe how I feel about this song. It's just the best song ever made. Just everything about it is so good. It feels nostalgic and reminiscent and yet, like, current and just everything. It's fun. It has just that little tinge of melancholy to make it like just a little bit kind of emotionally damaging 
but still in a fun way. Oh. This bridge, like that synth and that kick drum that it just buzzing away. I love, I'm actually gonna go back because I talked over it. The backing vocals there, like obviously there's Lucy's main, main take just sort of doing the straight thing, but then there's all these takes behind it that are sort of throwing like cheers in there and just going a bit off to make it sound so much more like full and fun. Oh. Don't just scared. Sorry, Fletcher. I'm sorry. Those high notes going all throughout that last chorus. God. The funky guitar. That's an actual, that's a real, that's a, I think that's a locking move, the funky guitar. God, it's so good. Oh, okay. Ooh. Coming back to reality for a second. All right, all right, all right, all right. That is Joy by Uwa. And mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I might just have to become a wow. I've been considering it since Catch the Stars dropped and now I'm like, yeah, I think I think I gotta become a wow. That's that's a really good little EP and fits the title of Joy, mostly. The title track, Danger, absolutely, absolutely love it. Joyride is... <laughs> Joyride is so good. I think Joyride's probably my favorite song, except for Catch the Stars. Go Away is weird and a bit cool and a bit fun. I'm into it. Switch up is a banger with a lot of fun lines that please tell me where the party yeah love it love it and then straight up you know it's it's fine maybe the least joyful on the album but i mean i guess go away isn't really like joy if you're telling someone to go away but the song feels kind of fun and joyful where it straight up just to be more like but yeah still still wow let's go whoa Let's go, Ua. Obviously, I was expecting quality since Catch the Stars was so good, but I don't think I was expecting this to be that good. I think score from first impression, like a seven, like a high seven, like a 73, you know, kind of that vibe. It's good. It's good. But yeah, that has been my first impression of Joy by Ua. Let me know what you think about this EP in the comments below. I'd love to hear your takes and subscribe for more content like this. There's a big month coming up in girl groups and K-pop in general. Oh baby, like this is just the start. We still have BTS tomorrow. Bugaboo, Pixie, Luna, Kepler, Nayeon's solo album. From is nine. And then even in the beginning of July, we've got WJSN, Esper, Yitzi. It's all happening. It's all happening. I am gonna be one busy person over the next month. So, you know, if you wanna see me talk about all of those, stick around. You know, like, subscribe, comment, blah, 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 blah. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Catch ya. Ooh, two hands loop this time. That was. Ooh.